beyond the doors of restaurant kitchens lurk hidden dangers for you and your family. Dozens of Marion County eateries being hit with fines for failing to meet health standards. Some with such awful conditions, they were forced to close down. We sought out some of the worst offenders to get answers from management. Our first stop, Tilted Kilt, right off Georgia Street downtown. We were told that you were the manager that we could talk to about the health code violations. Tilted Kilt was fined for six critical violations, which included pork and coleslaw expired for seven days being stored in their cooler. A nap found inside a bottle of tequila and employees not washing their hands, plus hamburger patties and raw chicken tenders being held at dangerous temperatures. We have no comment. No comment? You don't want to tell your customers whether you solved everything or no. anything like that? No. We left downtown and headed to the south side to visit Taqueria Aculco. Since March, the restaurant has been fined $1,000 for 12 critical violations. El Departamento de Salud. We stopped in and spoke to this man about their violations. The inspector found, quote, numerous bloody wiping cloths on a counter, cockroach droppings in the kitchen and dining area, the hand sink soiled due to lack of usage, with water coming out rust colored, and the food handler preparing raw meat while touching ready to eat tortillas. We saw him doing that same thing during our visit. The pest problem escalating during a follow-up check from the health department with an inspector finding mouse droppings on a shelf. On March 25th, the health department shut down Taqueria Aculco, ordering the owner to clean it from top to bottom. But the restaurant reopened without permission. You tried to open anyway? He responded saying, for two days. This man said he paid his fines, exterminated and dealt with the other issues, but he would not let us get a closer look at the kitchen. Following the routine check in March, violations were found four more times during rechecks of the restaurant. At last check, the restaurant is still open. Finally, we visited Los Rancheros on the northwest side. And is there a manager I could talk yes, to? Los Rancheros was fined $300 for seven critical violations back on June 9th. The report mentions dead cockroaches observed on the kitchen floor, house flies throughout the kitchen, cooked taco meat in containers on the floor with no temperature control, and the manager assembling a taco with his bare hands in front of the health inspector. He was out, so I started, you know, making the taco by myself, but I made my mistake and I pay for it. The manager here, Jorge Soto, walked us through their kitchen and back area to show how they address the issues. He put in a new cooler and sealed the exterior wall to prevent pests from making their way inside. This area, it was not sealed, so that's where I think we was having the problems. In the kitchen, we spotted some uncovered meat, Soto saying it was just cooked and cooling on a cart. The floor was clear of any pests. Soto adding that the new cooler is keeping the food at the correct temperatures. Those critical violations were corrected by their last recheck on June 22nd, but an inspector returned on July 1st and found mouse droppings on soda racks, a cockroach in the dry storeroom, and fruit flies by the sink. So I spoke to the manager of Los Ranteros today about those latest violations, which included the mouse droppings found in the kitchen. He said he's had the exterminator come in more frequently to deal with that problem. And the health department says diners should contact them if they see anything disturbing at a restaurant. They say they'll send an inspector out within 24 hours. Fanchin? Well, Gabby, we...